This is Raul from CRM Tiger. Uh, today we will going to give you the presentation of uh, the recent implementation from us. That is, the, you know, everyone would want the customer will going to use the mobile apps as well. So uh, we added that features. So what we did is like uh, we did a replacement of customer portal apps and customer portal. I mean, the customer will going to customer will going to uh, use the mobile apps. Uh, so that will be a, as the same flow as regular customer portal flow of Retiger. It means like a customer will uh, if any customer who has the access of the customer portal, those customer will going to log in with the apps. So admin or uh, regular user who enable the contact will going to use the mobile apps. So before that, I just wanted to show you something about uh, what are the configuration in the CRM Tiger apps. So these apps basically a separate apps. Uh, it is not a regular app. So customer will going to access the apps right from from, from the Google Play Store and Apple Store. Uh, with these apps, right? So customer apps for VTiger, right? And this is the view of the apps. Those, so they can access the apps from here. Now, in the, I mean, the, in the settings of CRM Tiger mobile apps, there is an option for the custom portal apps, right? Now there is a separate order flow for the customer portal apps. So basically uh, you can place an order for the customer portal apps from here. So in our regular order page, there is an option where you can place an order. So, so from here you can place an order for the custom portal apps. So, so there is an option here. Do you need to a customer to use the mobile apps? So from here you can place an order. So once you place an order, right? After place an order, it will ask you to uh, upload the zip files, right? Or install your files. Once you install, right, that file, it will display this section if this section is not available to you. And from that. You have to simply click on uh, license and you have to activate the license. So once you activate the license, your contact, right, to whom you are unable to log in with the customer portal, like uh, I have one contact with Raul, okay. So you enable the contact with the customer portal. We're going to log in to the apps, okay. Now these apps follow all the settings what you did in the customer portal here. So if you enable ticket, then it will display the ticket in your in a mobile apps. If you disable the product project, then it will uh, you know, uh, display the projects and all right. So let me first give, show you. Uh, I mean, the, let me ask my mobile team to set the screen and make them a presenter. OK, so you can see how the app will look like. So I'm going to share uh, the, another screen of the mobile apps. If you are looking at this. Okay, I think. Uh, okay, now you can see the screen. Maybe it's a little late. So basically this is the uh, custom portal apps. Uh, this will be displayed the similar as how it is displayed in the uh, customer portal instance of the system. So basically in this, uh, this is the dashboard for the customer portal. So it display uh, all the recent tickets. So if I can create a ticket from here, for example, so it will display the pop up for the tickets. So let's that pop up to be arrived. Not 
So basically, this is a dashboard of uh, customer portal apps. So from dashboard, your customer can create a tickets. Okay, so if I click on here, it will go into tickets, right? So you can submit the tickets from here. If you, if your customer can upload the documents, right? My say my photo to a file. If I took a camera from my picture, right? So if I take any picture from here. And if I scroll and save, right? So it, it it's going to be uploaded from here, right? So and it will going to attach as a document in the system. So your customer, will, I mean, the, you can see whatever the photos or picture updated from the customer, and it can be accessible from your CRM, right? Like how uh, basically you, your, uh, if your customer is uploading from the customer portal. Uh, Apart from that, uh, it's display all the announcement at the top, right? So if you look at the welcome to CRM Tiger webinar for the customer portal, as well as your customer will get the push notification, right? So you can send a notification to your customer from the workflow or other settings. So customer can see all the notification about the latest news or something to their apps then they can see all the quotation which has been uh, sent to them they can download the quotation as well so let me create one quotation from here and assign to that contact so you will see that quotation is going to be downloaded from here let me just uh, change the contact from here okay save it now let's see if i can show you the quotation okay i see the quotation if i open the quotation right so you have an option like accept the quotation okay so if i accept the quotation it's updated to the system right and we we also going to update the option to you know uh, download the pdf of the quotation or something i think that option is there in the invoice so that may be in a, a later, next version though where you can i mean the customer can download the invoice or quotation as well so these are all the features and functions which we offer right now with the customer portal apps so if you have any question or anything, do let us know so we can discuss about that. Also, let me try to create an invoice from here. Just wanted to confirm whether we have that option of download the invoice or not. Okay, I just add the added invoice. Let me just click on the invoice. You see. Okay, uh, I think we do not have the option, but we we also have the other option for this. We will going to add an option to you know do the signature on the invoice and quotation as well. Uh, that option is already been there. So if you manage any fields as in signature field, it works like that. <coughs> so basically, this is uh, you know apps related to the customer portal. So let us know if you have, uh, you know, any question or uh, you know something which you feel like we have to add as an option in the customer portal. We will definitely consider in in our upcoming release. So I'm just waiting for your question about that.
So let me know if you have any question. You can write a question on the question panel and we will definitely answer your question. So I'm just waiting for your question. Anybody has any question? Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Bruno, Mr. Chad, Mr. Fernando, Leonard, Ruben, Russ, South here, Vivaldo. Let us know if you have any question. We can ready to discuss about the custom portal apps. You can raise your hand if you have a question. Okay. Okay, so Mr. Russ, your question is like, uh, can you do a version of the app that is purely limited on the Excel, a customer care action? Uh, sorry, I not understand your question, but what I understand so far is like, uh, you want an option in the customer portal that customer can, uh, I mean, the, we can manage the customer Okay, so your question is our customer are under contract where they request package collection when they need it. Okay, this is uh, again a uh, good question. So basically, you know, this, uh, what I understand is like you want some additional thing in the customer portal where uh, either they can create a tickets, right? Or something for the package collection or whatever, but that is something specific requirement. I think we can discuss after the webinar for this and uh, we will better understand. Okay. Uh, yes, Fernando, we are talking about the same app for the custom portal. I mean, this is the op options inside our existing VTAG. Uh, this is the option under the existing VTAG mobile app, but customer portal app has a set. Uh, you have to procure the separate license for the customer portal apps. Yes, uh, Chad, uh, you can go to the kb.crmtiger.com where, uh, let me, okay, I have to show you that part. So in a kb.crmtiger.com, there is a customer portal, right? So it's it has all the information about how to install and how to use it, right? So it has all the video and all the information about how to install the apps and how to use it. So you will get uh, all the answer from there, right? So make sure you just note down the URL that is kb.crmtiger.com. Hope Mr. Chad, this will answer the question. Yes, Fernando, thank you for that. So anybody has any other question? Let us know if you have any question. Also, if you want to discuss anything about the customer portal app, sorry, normal CRM Tiger app, if you want to, if you feel like, you know, there will be a new feature, which is really good to add, we are definitely going to consider that. So we are also waiting for your uh, feedback on that too. Okay, so 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 let's talk uh, in email. Okay, not about this, but what about the week? Okay, so Office 365 integration is almost uh, about to finish. Uh, we have the we we got the just a second. Let me see. Show you. We got the confirmation from the Microsoft that the extension is live. Okay, 65. But we are still waiting for uh, our internal team to uh, make that extension to be available for for the public user. So right now, right now we are 
working on that so that extension is live but we we just wanted to have that extension to be available for retail users so that is something we are working on okay thank you fernando anybody has any other question feel free to ask I'm ready to answer you. Hey, William, nice to meeting. Okay, so if you have any further question, uh, you can send an email to info at, sorry, support at crmtiger.com. Also, you can send and, uh, you know, uh, log into live chats on crmtiger.com where you can, uh, talk to our team about it okay your question is like can you integrate we tiger cr customer with our website means allow customer to raise ticket access yes that is possible uh, we'll definitely do that mr russ so we can talk to you that's fine william we will send you the recording of this webinar so anybody has any other question do let us know Thank you, Chad. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, so, thank. Okay, cannot look, but I have a question about the customer portal. Is yes, customer portal is for all the user. We are not charging per user in the customer portal. It means like if you purchase a license for the customer portal, you have to pay one monthly fees, like how we are, uh, you know, charging to the customer. Uh, CRM Tiger mobile apps, customer portal apps post would be just let me share my screen so I can tell you because I did not mention that to you. Sorry for that. So the customer portal app, for example, if I select for pay that is $15 a month so for customer portal uh, we charge monthly $15 for the customer portal mobile apps hope that is answer your question and it is not per user it is for uh, it is for the uh, entire CRM so doesn't matter how many users you have it is one time one of course for all the users. Okay, everyone, uh, if you have more questions, you can simply send us an email at support at crmtiger.com or it's sales at crmtiger.com and we will be happy to answer any of your questions. So thank you for your time and have a great day.